Hi, I'm Eric Judy. And I'm Dick Van Dyke. One thing that really gets our blood boiling, <laughs> and uh, I, I would have to say uh, a lot of the folks that we, we speak with, is this low interest rate environment that is really uh, penalizing to retirees. Well, it's been, the unfortunate thing is you've got a government who is forcing low interest rates down our throat. I mean, why, why would that be to our government's benefit, Eric? <laughs> well, let's see here. If I print cheap money, <laughs> so, and if I don't have to pay it back at high interest rates. So you mean if like, I owe $16 trillion, and there's a way I can actually manipulate and hold interest rates low, yeah, that I might... Can, if I can borrow free money... That might money, be a good thing for me. <laughs> just borrowing free money. We've been propping up the banks and pop it, propping up the, right. the, the, the supposedly the in, you know economy by keeping these rates low. Right. But... The well, return effect is we've taken our retirees and our savers and we've thrown them under the bus. We've penalized them yeah. in, in a major way. And, and when you look at the, the financial institutions that s these interest rates were put into effect supposedly to help and, and to shore up, I mean, these financial institutions are, you know, they're all passing their stress tests. They're, yeah, they're making money. Yeah, they're making money. <laughs> they're, they're coming back. I mean, there's a, a few that are, you know, having a challenge, but overall, all our financial system you know, at least gives the appearance that it's been uh, restored well, to some degree. Well, the market was designed, what they did is they designed this to basically push money into the economy to make it better to borrow. Borrowing helps the economy. That's what the theory is right, here. So, right, so if stimulating you wanna, the economy. If you want to borrow money right now, it's a right. great time. But if you're getting close to retirement, you've already saved up everything, mm -hmm. you're now earning next to nothing on most of your major options or your right. safe money options, right. you know, your CDs, your money markets, or... The FDIC insured option. Yes. So you're having the you're being forced to look at other alternatives. So. Well, our, our corporations are cash rich. Um, the banks uh, have a lot of cash that they don't know what to do with. People, the the demand isn't there to borrow the money. You know, even though the the rates are extremely low, and so it. What I believe that this is leading up to, and I, I think Eric, we've discussed this, is that there is no short-term fix. No, in fact, Uncle Ben, Ben Bernanke, has <laughs> has promised us that we're going to keep interest rates at this level, at least till the beginning of 2015. Right. So, right. so we're sitting here, years it, away now, and and, it, and people are saying, well, are rates ever going to increase? Right. Well, the crystal ball the, in front of us says no, because we're, we've got a guarantee or a pledge to keep rates at a at a hyper low level <laughs> right well our government's motivation isn't there to um, to st stimulate and raise the the rates uh, you know for savings and which which encourages savings and that type of thing the more that consumers spend uh, the more that they borrow the more that drives the economy and it has that other side effect of holding the government's borrowing costs down uh, when we look at Japan uh, we go back to, to 20 years of very, very low interest rate environment, and, and the savers over there have, have had a, you know, uh, who, who knows if we're fo really following, you know, that, that model or not, but, but it, there are some similarities there. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be honest. And Dick's heard me say, I don't care about Japan. I worry about what happens here. <laughs> what home. happens to our clients right. right here. That's right, because <laughs> we've Illinois. got people that are constantly walking the United States. I've had umpteen people that are typical CD borrowers walk in and go, their hands in the air, and they go, what can I do? Yeah. And what, are the, yeah. what are the alternatives? Yeah. And so, I mean. Well, and, we've been pretty fortunate. Yeah. I mean, we've been able to uh, establish uh, at least the foundational portion of many of our clients' portfolios uh, in annuities, and uh, we've been able to ladder those annuities yeah. and get 8% uh, guaranteed growth on the income base anyway. So that uh, maybe the cash accumulation isn't growing at 8%, but their income uh, base is growing that they can draw their income off of, and, and it will have a tendency to outpace or stay ahead of inflation. Yeah. And just real quickly, when we talk about laddering annuities, what we're talking about is basically having different start points for annuities. So it's, right. you, may not, you may turn on one year one, and you may wait five years before before you turn on another, and another ten years before you would turn on a third. So you've got this eight percent or seven percent compounding year after year. On the longer you can can stretch it out, the better. So you may need some income immediately, or income in five years, and then income in ten and, and fifteen. Right. And, and it's you know, being able to turn yes. those on after they've been in deferral, so they have a right. greater compounding effect. Right. So. And then uh, the other choice that that uh, we have, if somebody needs income, you know, right away. 
is to set up some type of an immediate annuity or a, a hybrid annuity that will actually have some cost of living adjustment built right. into it. Yeah. Um, the one thing, with, and we should always say with the immediate annuities, if you start them with a cost of living adjustment, they usually start a little bit lower right. than those that just have a, a right. normal life expectancy. And similarly on some of the hybrids, but there are some hybrids that will actually start about the, the same same point right. uh, and, and still have a cost of living adjustment and built into them. And that's where we always talk about with the client, what's the longevity expectation? If you have a longer than normal life expectancy in your family, that's especially the time to look at those things. Yes. Because that's when it's kind of... Well, you can, you can really come out ahead. We're, we're, our goal is never, you know, to go out and beat up on the insurance company, but... Um, when it comes down to, <laughs> when he, Eric says yes, we do. <laughs> when it comes down to the client or the insurance exactly. company, we're for the client. client. That's exactly right. We want so, you to make the most money possible right. back. So. And if you can, if you can win against the insurance company, then then obviously longevity is is one of those yeah. variables, those wild cards. Yeah, we, our goal is for everybody to win. I mean, right. I, mean I don't. I say that facetiously. 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 I don't want to take the insurance company down, but that being said, I want all my clients to benefit, to benefit. In, the, in the best way possible yeah, exactly so so we really come down to uh, Eric a low rate interest environment that's affecting retirees all over the country and their choices aren't that many you know it, it very limited so yeah in I don't want to say in closing necessarily here but in, in summary it's okay we can close <laughs> <laughs> it, it's look at your full range of options because of the interest rate environment right it's not the time to be sitting on the fence, unfortunately. Right. People keep on saying, if I wait, if I wait. I've had somebody out there waiting for three years now, waiting for rates and, to increase, and the they, opposite they've of lost, that. They've lost ground. They lost ground. They, so, they don't have the same options they had a few years ago. So it, it's how long can you sit in a 0.5% or whatever CD? With 3% inflation. Exactly. So you're losing money by putting yourself you, in a... You're going, going backwards at 25 to 4% a year probably. So... So in summary, yes, low interest rates hurt retirees. They're pa very painful, but it shouldn't stop you from taking action and making a progressive retirement plan. Yeah, have, making a good decision. Uh, use a good financial advisor and, um, you know, just, just weigh all the options. Thank you.